My journey starts with the open hearts of a thousand women. I personally believe that umfazi ufana nembogodo, which means a woman is like a rock. I was born in Durban, in the township of Umlaz. I was raised by my grandmother as a baby, and I had a lot of life lessons from my mom, who has been a mother and a father to me throughout my teenage years. While I am my mother's only child, I am also the first grandchild of six grandchildren in my family. I started school at Fundagahle Lower Primary at the age of six, where I spent most of the time at the school's playground, then in class. Then came Segelani, my higher primary school. This school was very popular in my township, not because of good education, but for harsh corporal punishment practices that were exercised in the school. I think teachers at Segelani Higher Primary School invented corporal punishment. I was often too scared to go to school because of all the beatings and the scolding. I spent happy final years of my schooling at Sacred Heart Secondary School, a Catholic and girls only boarding school. This is where I had an opportunity to a great education and experienced being taught by passionate and loving teachers. At Sacred Heart, I also met long life friends, my Oxford sisters. In 1999, the school had us, just 55 girls, to matriculate. We gave ourselves a metric group name, Double Five Gs, already in grade 11. This was a tradition with all metric classes at Sacred Heart. From there onwards, we had a stronger bond with my sisters. We did absolutely everything together. We shared a lot of good, bad and proud moments that still keep us connected today. I studied for a national diploma in information technology at Mangosutu University of Technology. I had lots of friends and too much independence. During my final year of studies, I fell pregnant with my first child, Asanda. Despite all this, I passed and graduated in 2003. I got my first official job in 2004 as a technical intern at Women's Net, an NGO in Newtown, Johannesburg, where I met amazing women who did great things for other women and teenage girls through ICTs. In 2005, I had an opportunity to teach basic computer literacy at Community Education Computer Society. The following year, I continued to train gay and lesbian women on computer literacy and how to use the internet for information dissemination at the Forum for the Empowerment of Women, another NGO in Bramfontein, Johannesburg. I then moved to Cape Town to join the University of the Western Cape's Public Affairs Department as an alumni relations officer, which involved a lot of traveling between provinces within South Africa. Through my work at UWC, I got to travel to Toronto in Canada for the first time to do research on alumni relations and alumni communities online. I visited four universities, University of Toronto, York University, Ryerson University, and McMaster University. At the beginning of 2011, I joined a new higher education institution and family, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, as a courseware developer. I love it here. There is so much energy fresh ideas and I'm inspired by the technology innovations in this institution. I always look forward to new developments in teaching and learning practices, using new ICTs and cutting edge technologies. Through all my work experiences with dedicated, strong and intelligent women, I have developed a passion for the girl child. I have a dream to establish a girls technical academy one day for the better future of women in my country and the world at large. Yes, I am inspired and shaped by all women in my life.